Now for my discussion with Dr. Glenn Jeffrey. Dr. Glenn Jeffrey, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. We go way back. Later, I'll tell a little bit of the story and why it is truly unforeseen that we'd be sitting here <laughs> talking about what we're talking about. But it's great to see you again. And I'm super excited about the work you've been doing over the last few years because it's completely transformed the way that I think about light and health, light and mitochondria. And frankly, every environment I go into now, indoor or outdoor, I think about how that lighting environment is impacting my cellular health, maybe even my longevity. So if you would be willing, could you explain for people a little bit about light as, let's say, the visible spectrum, the stuff that we can see, and the stuff that's kind of outside what we can see as a framework for how that stuff impacts our cells? Because I think without that understanding, it's going to be a little bit mysterious how it is that lights of particular colors wavelengths, as we call them, could impact our mitochondria the way they do. But with just a little bit of understanding about light, I think uh, people will get a lot more out of our conversation. Yeah, sure. We think about light purely in terms of the light we see, and that's, that's perfectly natural. And the light we see runs from deep blue, violet, out to pretty deep red, deep bicycle light. Um, and that's what we see. That's what we're aware of. The trouble is that actually there's a lot more of it than that. The sun kicks out a vast amount of light that we don't see. So let's say the visual range is just grab the numbers, which is say 400 to 700. That's our, that's our spectrum. Nanometers. Yeah, nanometers. And there we're talking about the wavelength, how bumpy yeah. those wavelengths of yeah. light are. Sunlight extends out almost to 3,000 nanometers. Just think about it. <laughs> big, big range. And then that's in the infrared. And on the other end, the bits that we don't see, the deep, deep blues and the violets, that goes down deeply to about 300 nanometers. Now, this is a continuum. We parcel it up because there's bits we see and there's bits we don't see. But you can think about it as a continuous wavelength and the wavelength gets longer and longer and longer as we go out into the deep red. So short wavelength lights, the ones just below blue, they're very, very high frequency. They carry quite a kick. And that's why when you're sitting in the sun and you get sunburn, it's mainly because of those ultraviolet short wavelengths that are present. And then you go beyond our visual range, beyond 700, and the wavelengths become very, very long. And they carry a certain kind of energy, but they don't carry the kick. So the important point to think of is when you go out in sunlight, you see all these colors, blues, greens, reds, but there's so much out there that you don't see. 